Hi guys, this is Rakesh and welcome to my channel. And today I'm back again with one more real interview question. And the question is, explain me uh, delta changes in S4 HANA. So how do you answer this question? So the answer is that uh, in S4 HANA, there are changes in multiple areas. Uh, for example, in GL accounting, earlier we had two table, one was BKPF and BSEG. But now all that data is coming under one single table in HANA, that is ACDOC, AC Doka table. So earlier we were having multiple tables and now we have one single table for entire data, that is called single source of truth. And uh, in GL master also there are changes. Earlier we used to create cost elements separately. There was GL master created by FS00 T code and then there were cost elements created by K01 primary cost element and K06 secondary cost element. But now in S4 HANA, they are not too separate, they are being merged. In the GL master itself, you declare whether this is a primary cost element or secondary cost element. Right? There is no separate master data for cost element. It is one single GL master created by FS00. And earlier your finance tables were different, your controlling tables were different, but in S4 HANA, everything finance, controlling, and profitability analysis, all that data is captured under one single table, which is AC Docker. Earlier in GL Master, in ECC, uh, GL Master, there was two account types, balance sheet and PNL. But now in S4 HANA, you have four account types. One is balance sheet, the other one is primary cost element, secondary cost element, and non-operating expense. So you choose, uh, you, there are four options now. Uh, other than GL accounting, like master data changes and table changes, uh, there is also change in uh, AP side. Earlier you had customer, vendor, right? Customer in accounts receivable, payment, uh, vendor in accounts payable. Instead of customer vendor, now you have business partner. What it does is you create one single master business partner and then you keep extending the roles. If you are, uh, let's say some company is there, which is your customer also, which is your vendor also. So you just create, you don't create customer vendor separately, you create one business partner and then you assign the role, you assign that it is my uh, vendor, the role of vendor has to be assigned, it is my customer, role of customer has to be assigned to that business partner. So that is the change in APAR, otherwise the process remains the same, P2P process, OTC process, everything is same. Then in tax accounting, I don't see much changes and in asset accounting, yes, there are a lot of changes. Earlier you had uh, uh, delta depreciation areas, right? non-real area, but in S4 HANA there is no need for delta area because there is no need for doing any correction. So non-leading ledger is uh, posted correctly even at the first time. You don't need to post any correction entry in non-leading ledger. And in S4 HANA you don't, uh, uh, I mean there is no restriction in number of depreciations that you can run. You can run depreciation as many times as you want. In ECC, if you have thousands of assets, any one single asset is having problem, then entire depreciation will fail. But in S4 HANA, whatever number of assets are good without any issue, they will get depreciated. And for those assets which are having some issue, you will get the log that this is failing because of so and so reason and you can fix those errors and run it again. So this leads to faster month in closing. You are not stuck. You are able to proceed ahead. And then uh, in controlling side, like I said, the, there is no separate cost element. It is now same thing. There is no separate controlling table. It is AC Doka only. And uh, earlier it was profitability analysis in S4 HANA. We have something called margin analysis. So margin analysis, basically it's the same thing. Fundamentally, it's the same thing, but there are some differences. Like in ECC, you had uh, costing based COPA. You were using value fields. But in S4 HANA, we have account based COPA, right? And there is a benefit of account based COPA. It is always reconciled with finance. Earlier you had issues between reconciliation between uh, COPA and finance, but now in account based COPA, there is no such issue. Your balances are always reconciled. So these are some of the changes between your ECC and S4 HANA. Do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and see you soon with the next question. Thank you.